Okay, we have a uh, 2,000 point battle for you today. Uh, Dark Eldar and Eldar teaming up against 2,000 points of Tau. There's some Piranhas, a ton of Warriors, and one proxied squad of Warriors in reserve still. Commander Rely, some broadside battle suits, a Hammerhead, and some gun drones. Also some uh, sniper teams actually over here. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, this guy proxied as a Ravager with Disintegrator cannons. This guy proxied as a, well actually he's a regular Ravager with uh, Dark Lances. Two groups of three jet bikes, a um, group of Helians over here, sort of, you know, just the bases there. Uh, Dire Avengers in one transport, Dire Avengers in another transport, a Night Spinner, uh, and a squad of unpainted, I'm playing with unpainted models, unpainted uh, warp spiders with an Exarch with a warp jump generator that looks like a pair of wings, but is actually a warp jump generator joining me in reserve. All right, off we go. Uh, the initiative was just stolen by the, uh, the Tau player, so he's going first, even though we thought we were going to go first. All right. All right, so we forgot to round up the top of turn one, but we finished turn one. What happened? A, a, a Tau army shot a bunch of stuff here, blew up one of the Ravagers, immobilized the other one, pinned these guys, uh, and that was it for that. Uh, on our turn, what do we do? Uh, we managed to nuke uh, that group over there and uh, one of the Pathfinder groups with the Night Spinner, so both of them are in a monofilament web. Um, other than that, we couldn't. We tried to shoot 36 inches into those battle suits, but they were just out by about an inch or two. And uh, we tried to fire into Commander Rely over here, but uh, to no avail. So uh, these guys went flat out, they went flat out, and that was it. We're waiting for our reserves to come on, hopefully turn two. Okay, on to turn two. Rounding up the top of turn two, brutal turn. Just uh, these, these guys all had cover, he went flat out, but Glance wrecked him, Glance wrecked him. They got nuked by that thing. Um, over here, Commander Rely had a really cool gun where he ignores cover, so we just nuked four of these guys here. Oh, we forgot to do a leadership check on these guys. We've got to do a leadership, so let's see if they, uh, they're brave. They are brave with a five. All right. Um, these guys over here were pinned, so uh, they had a three plus cover save, but they still lost a guy from some crazy shooting somewhere. I don't even know where from. And uh, <laughs> that was it. We're on to the bottom of turn two. Looking really dire. Some fluky glances on vehicles. I, I always hate when that happens, but what are you going to do? All right. All right, so uh, rounding up bottom of turn two, uh, no. what happened? These guys showed up. Um, uh, sh shot a bunch of stuff into the air, but I made barely any hits at all and killed only four guys and they stuck around, so that sucked. These guys tried to see the unit that was there, but uh, I rolled only 12 inches from knife fighting. They luckily saw them and killed them, though. Um, uh, this guy fired over here, killed a few guys in that unit, uh, pinned them down a little bit to the unit that's back there, but uh, that was that. He managed to just see those guys with his range, but couldn't do anything. The cover saves held. And these guys just chickened out and kind of went into the building there. You can't see too well because the camera is too dark, but there's guys inside there. The and that is, oh, the Reavers, yeah, they, they flew over and double nuked a unit of, um, of uh, the sniper squads there. So these guys can feel no pain now. All right, on to turn three. All right, so rounding up another brutal top of turn three. Uh, seven saves on these guys, six of them failed. What a game, what a game. All right, um, over here, um, he fired into here, killed one of these guys. Um, uh, what else happened? Oh, this guy got immobilized from uh, some shooting. I don't know. Oh yeah, these guys flew up flat out and then a guy did a marker light for a missile into here, so that was a pretty cool move. And um, Commander Rely, oh, and then those guys nuked those bikes that were in there, so, but it took a lot, it took a lot of shooting, but all, both bike squads are dead from a combination of fire, which is not a surprise, because they were right in the middle of the town army. Okay, on to our bottom of turn three. All right, running up the bottom of turn three, uh, these guys jumped in here, assaulted this vehicle, and uh, the combat drugs, we forgot to mention, we rolled a plus one strength for the whole army, so they actually had strength five, strength six from the Baron, even though he, even though he doesn't have drugs, we managed to destroy this vehicle. Um, these guys moved up here, they flew in here, they tell, uh, deep struck in, everything fired at him, managed to just kill the two drones, no wounds on Commander Rely, even with all the poison weaponry, it wasn't enough. But he passed his morale. These guys jumped in over here, uh, uh, shot up a unit, double charged two units, one unit ran off the board, the other one uh, were locked in with them unfortunately, they rolled insane courage. And of course with my luck this guy actually ended up dying, one, one last wound got put on him and he failed it and he hasn't passed a single save all game, but so be it. <laughs> And what else happened here? We shot uh, a bunch of stuff in here. Monofilament web hit the... One of these vehicles exploded from the Dark Lances that hit it. So these guys popped out. The web uh, webbed those guys. 
And that was about it for our turn. So we push forward. Uh, we're trying to fight back. All right, on to turn four. That's a fair chance of winning, actually. No? We're going to try to really, yeah, we're going to try to hurt that side. All right, so rounding at the bottom of turn four, uh, top of turn four, sorry, these guys flew in here. Um, melted this guy, but by some miracle rolled a one, so they just blew off a lance. Um, but uh, that happened there. These guys fired in, couldn't finish him off. Um, uh, over here, uh, we, uh, it was a tied combat, but we hit and ran out of there. We did hit and run, so we're out, and we're going to be ready to cost her. These, four of these guys got gunned down. I had to make four saves, failed them all. So I even forgot leadership on these guys, so let's see what the leadership check is. Leadership nine. And they make it with a five. Well, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we forgot leadership on that guy. Let's roll it up here. Eight. Yeah, he makes it, alright. Um, okay, so we're, uh, and a bunch of these guys got, all the oh, Hellions got gunned down except for one guy. I've got leadership on that guy. He's good. He's good. So there's one lone guy here, one lone guy here, two guys here, and just a bunch of stragglers there trying to, you know, it's, it's a tough fight, but we're trying. So bottom of turn four. Alright, so running up the bottom of four, uh, what happened? This Scourge charged in over there, held combat over there, no wounds caused on either side. Um, this Hellion charged in here and got beat down because he had some kind of stealth generator and he killed him and he failed to save and that was that. These guys were a little bit more successful here. They uh, managed, after the hit and run, they charged in, shot, and then jumped in and killed a bunch of guys. Uh, they're fearless, though, because they're honor guards, so they just, uh, one more guy died from the fearless saves. Uh, these guys here were there, they ran out, and they tried to, uh, they fleeted, and then they tried to charge these guys up here, but they didn't roll high enough, so they're stuck out in the open now. All right, and that is it. Back to turn five. All right, so rounding up the top of turn five, that was pretty brutal. Um, these, the suits jumped in here. Um, unfortunately, I put two wounds on the ethereal, killing him. But he, my exarch put another wound on the squad. No wounds in return. We got pretty lucky there. So the both units uh, lost by three. They failed the leadership, and they got cut down by these guys who consolidated two. That was just a brutal combat there. Uh, what else happened, though? Rely uh, shot and charged in and slaughtered my, uh, my exarch outright instantly there. Um, these guys came in, they, tr they killed a few of those guys, uh, oh no, we made our saves over there, so everything's, they're uh, contesting here right now, because uh, our objectives is the entire building on both sides. Um, over here, that was uh, about it, oh, we didn't, we forgot to do this combat, uh, but we can roll that up in a second. But yeah, this is a really key, key moment, we're going to see if, yeah, we're basically playing for a tie now, because these are not troops, but we'll see what we can do. Playing for you at the beginning, yeah. rolling for me at the end. This is brutal, eh? Alright, so bottom of turn five, the game has ended, it is a brutal, brutal tie. Um, what happened, these guys, after having that glorious combat where they bathed in the blood of the Tau, they, they ran up over here. Um, we had a combination of stuff, the Hellions finally came over there, this guy came over here. Combination with these guys, gun down Commander Rely over here, he finally failed some saves. Um, these guys over here managed to shoot out the windows and actually blow away the squad of three um, jump drones, uh, but the Bright Lance failed to destroy this guy. It, it, it made him so he can't move or shoot next round, but he's still contesting, and we are not even owning this, there's nothing here, we're contesting it with, against these guys. So it was a pretty hard fought tie, a lot of stuff dead, a lot of pain and suffering everywhere. Uh, really good luck for the Tau at the beginning, really good luck for the Eldar and Dark Eldar at the end, uh, man what a brutal fight. But good game regardless.